everybody, welcome back to The Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking a really, really, really interesting bourbon. <laughs> it better live up to the hype. All right, Ben, 114 proof, what do you got? All right, I've got one right here. It's so strange that you asked. All right, bam. So this is uh, Old Granddad 114. Uh, I, this is one that I really like that you are not familiar with, correct? S rumor has it, I've tasted this in one of the like big flight reviews that we did or something like that, but I don't remember it at all. It was actually one a long time ago when we were first trying to test the waters oh. of making videos and the audio oh. didn't work so and I think that was the only time you'd actually was that the only time you'd had this one it must have been because I, I just bought old granddad bottled in bond but okay. I've not opened that one yet okay and that I thought was the first time I ever bought it but you're saying I've tasted it before but yeah we, we have had this one but yeah it's essentially new to you if you that's right no oh, cork wow. noise real but cork it's, too. it's yeah. authentic real cork it's so weird when we get those that just don't make any noise at all mm -hmm. So this one is a, a Jim Beam product, a high rye mash bill, and its total wine price is around here. It's twenty three ninety nine or something. It's a ridiculous price for this because it's it's one that I really like and it's one hundred fourteen proof, so you're getting a little bit of a banger. That you know, it sounds proof like a good point. price. Yeah, yeah. And, and they got a lot of places. And again, that's total wine, so they're yeah. like the Walmart of liquor stores so they can sell things a little That's, bit cheaper than the isn't independent that their guys. motto is it <laughs> the walmart of price says it on the on the sign but i think it usually runs about it's under 30. okay so no age statement do we have any kind of guess do you feel it's young or i feel like it's kind of one of those just middle age you know maybe the six year range or something like that it doesn't come off as super young mm -hmm. but not super aged either. A lot of uh, cinnamon, rye, and vanilla is what I'm getting. I remember this one, and I like this one because it's kind of a cinnamon forward one. Mm -hmm. And I, I tend to, I mean, I like pretty much any kind of bourbon you'll, but if you, you'll you, give me. But even yeah. if you focus on bean products, mm -hmm. you know, I, my guess is it's going to be real similar to a lot of other bean products. Yeah. So. I'm glad you brought that up because when we did, um, tell you what, let's get into the tasting of this, okay. and then we'll, and then I'll, okay, I'm gonna taste it. Do the call back to that. You can tell the story. Wow, that's hot. It's more cinnamon than I would have expected, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I remember this one being pretty cinnamon for what I was saying before is I, I like a, a cinnamon bourbon. You know? Yeah. Um, and so I, I remember this one kind of stood out in that category. So it wasn't getting a lot um, of unique notes on the nose. A little bit of vanilla. Um, but on the tongue, a lot of cinnamon, but still a lot of sweetness. Um, yeah, it's a really good blend of, like, there's some rye spice in there as there well. There definitely is. But kind of coated in sweetness. and. But it's, it's still balanced. Like it's not just hitting you hard because it's 114 proof. Yeah. Um, it's nice. There's a spice. Alcohol, you know, proof is there. Yeah. But it's a good mix of flavors. Yeah. It is. This is a really good one for, I mean, like I said, for $23 to get a, what's essentially for a lot of other bourbons, a cask strength. Right. You know, I mean, eh, tough to go wrong with that. I mean, if you don't like the flavor of it, then sure. I guess it's not your... Your deal, but yeah, I mean, if you if you like um, if you like any of the old Granddad stuff, for sure, I really like the old Granddad Bonded. That's another one that's very cinnamon forward. Mm -hmm. And so, what I was gonna say before, before I before we got into the tasting, I just try to feel like we try to get those tastings in earlier. Somebody's watching the video, it's like, okay, come on, get to it, <laughs> get to the story. And then, if yeah. you still want to listen to our yammering afterward about it, then thanks for uh, thanks for staying tuned. Um, but we did so uh, the old Granddad Bonded. Um, is very cinnamon forward. We did a review, one of the earlier ones that we did was Old Tub. Mm -hmm. 
And that one, to me, is very cinnamon forward as well. It is. Cinnamon and corn. It's like cornbread with cinnamon butter on it. I... <laughs> Hold the presses. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's exactly what I said in that No, review, I don't think but... that's what you said, but I think I know what I'm doing Saturday night is making cornbread. Yeah, there you go. Um, so in that review, I was- I think I, I'm gonna I call my video Adventures in Cornbread. <laughs> you start a new channel. <laughs> <laughs> cornbread note. So I remember in that review, and I haven't watched it in a while, but saying something along the lines of, um, it has that cinnamon profile like old granddad did, but I didn't think that it was the same mash bill because it doesn't come across as rye spice. Mm. Different bourbons have their own profiles. This happens to be a cinnamon forward one. So if you don't like that, I mean, the cinnamon's noticeable. It's not yeah, like yep. one person is going to maybe get some cinnamon and then another person is not, in my opinion anyway. I don't know what mash bill this is because mm -hmm. with Jim Beam, you have the, they have a high rye mash bill for the old granddad line and for Basil Hayden's. Correct. So I don't know what mash bill this is. I'm assuming this is not the high rye because it think doesn't. It's not a Basil Hayden. Yeah, it doesn't come bill. across like that at all. But it's got a little more spice to it on the nose. Um, but thinking about it, I wouldn't be entirely surprised to find out that Old Tub maybe is the same mash bill. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't either, because with Old Tub, you don't get the rye spice, you get more sweetness, but it's got such a cinnamon profile to it, and the only other Beam products that I really get that on are the Old Grandads. Right, so, I get a burn on this that I'm having a hard time placing. Yeah. It's not barrel. It drinks a bit hot. For sure, there's something but there. But I don't feel it's alcohol. Yeah. It's it's like a, but it's not black pepper, which is a, a note that I call out a lot. There's a, like a little bit of a burn right in the middle of the tongue. And it's nice, but I'm curious what that is. Maybe it's the rye, and I don't get that a lot. But this one's a little bit unique. Yeah. And if that's the case, yes, it is a little higher proof point. I don't get that on Old Tub. And, if I if we're putting our cards on the table, I happen to be a, a part of the old tub fan club. Yeah, me and too. I may be the only person in in the fan club, but oh, I'm right there with you. I love old tub. Yeah, but old tub's hundred proof. Mm -hmm. They make this in hundred proof, and I think they're different. Yeah, they're different, but I get kind of the the well, similar. Like it's the same that, family. That, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, this time I'm getting more rye on this. That I mean, I'm still getting the cinnamon, but I always just put these in that cinnamon category. I'm getting yep. a little more rye spice. That's now, right. Basil mm -hmm. Hayden's is the same mash bill as this, and I don't get the cinnamon in. But that's eighty proof. It's eighty proof. That's the problem. You get a little bit but of rye. But it is and a water. little bit aged. Yeah, it's, it's more. Aged. It's, it's yeah, aged well. Yeah. But yeah, I really like this. I think people. Um, from what I see, I think there's, you know, this is kind of one of the ones you either love it or hate it, maybe. I, I, I would think the sweetness and the cinnamon would be either, either really attracting or off-putting. Mm -hmm. Where a lot of bourbons are maybe a little bit down the middle, this one is going to push a few people away because of the cinnamon note. Yeah, it's like cinnamon and rye. It's almost like it's sweet with just that extra sharp spice to it. Yeah. That I feel like could maybe be off-putting to some people. I like it. I enjoy this one. I like it a lot. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, for for how cheap it is, can you go wrong? From what I understand, this is kind of a bartender's favorite for cocktails and stuff, because it really, at the higher proof, it stands up to a cocktail well. You know, the truth of the matter is this would go really well in old fashion. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I mean, I think if you want to have something that's got a little more kick to it to, to make a cocktail at home, yeah. this is a great one, you know? I, total truth. I've ignored this because it's bottom shelf. Mm -hmm. And it literally, in our liquor store, it sits on the bottom shelf and I make the assumption that it's gotta be bad and that's that's completely false. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah, I like this one for sure. And the old granted bonded, which we'll do, yeah, a, do a review of. review of soon. That one is, I really like that one as well. Mm -hmm. And that one's even a little bit cheaper than this one because you get a liter. Yeah. So. Well, I think this one's a recommend. If you like a good uh, spice to your bourbon and you want a little extra kick, a little extra proof. Um, and it's a good example of what a cinnamon forward bourbon is. Because mm -hmm. there's plenty that have the cinnamon, but this one, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the old granddads in the, in the old tub, it's very obvious. Yeah. So, 
All right. Well, this has been Old Granddad 114 on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Thanks for watching. Cheers.